Marker Colbert, Speed of Care Finish Network. All right, guys, so we got my girlfriend's beautiful Acker Teal Type S with us today. We're going to be doing a little bit of paint work on it. Now, were we, we were able to salvage um, almost all of the paint using the Mark One refinished product, Shine Pack. Using the buffing pads, we did the ceramic coat, which I have in the passenger seat. However, the trunk was not really savable. Um, a lot of clear coat chip in, and then the roof was also not savable, so we just didn't even bother buffing over those or anything. Um, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to respray the trunk, the wing today, start with those two, probably do the roof at a later date. So the guys over at Warsun Company, they sent us one of their inflatable spray booths. Now, this one's a little bit different from the other ones that I've used before. This one supposedly has um, a lot bigger um, filters um, on the end where it pushes the paint, th uh, paint in the air through. And one of the biggest complaints with these inflatable spray booths is how quick the filter's clogged. Uh, so with a bigger filter surface area, we probably will have less of an issue with that. Comes with all of the inflatable blowers. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna prep this trunk. All this needs is a quick scratch with some 400 grit. I may or may not take the time to fix that little dinger right there. I'm not trying to get this perfect, just better than what it is. And we're gonna go ahead and blow the booth up and get this thing looking a little better. One hour later. Right, guys so we're in here just five minutes after spraying that first pretty the first coat actually went pretty heavy um i didn't have my spray gun adjusted just right um actually first time consistently using the mv1 for in a long time this gun puts out a lot more material than the, the equos <laughs> the excuse me the eco so i'm still kind of getting used to it so um it's all fumed out i mean there's no fumes in here just spray like five minutes ago i um, just want to show you guys you know just how fast this thing clears out the fumes with these really large filters, it helps clear the booth out a lot faster. 
I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down. We're going to do one uh, second coat, and I think I'm going to call this thing good. Alright, so I don't know what came out of my spray gun. I, I don't know, like I was spraying and it was just like something chunky started blowing out of it. And I mean, I clean it every time I spray. Um, and a little bit right there, right there. But, which I can probably wet sand this out. I piled a bunch of clear on this trunk. But man, look at the finish. Other than my own personal wrongdoing with the spray gun, I mean, this is almost like a du like eh, two two dust heads right there, you know, a couple, but that's not from the paint booth. This is like probably dust that was like in the trunk, you know. I mean, this this looks really good, man. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna let this cure up because I know that second coat was really thick. It's gonna take some time to harden up a little bit. We're gonna pull out sun, give you a final um, view of the paintwork. And then, uh, you know, give you my final thoughts on the booth. All right, so there you guys have it. Nice finish. Very low dust. Like I said, other than my own wrongdoing, like I said, I don't know what was wrong with my spray gun, but it had nothing to do with the spray booth. Other than that spot right there, which I'm probably going to be able to wet sand out, I mean, this is, uh, this is really nice. This is really, really nice. It's a side shot right there. You know, looks good. Got work on the roof next. Like I said, that's pretty pretty burnt. Um, but at least we got the trunk done. So, you know, all the sides of the car look good. You know, roof, nobody really pays too much attention to the roof. I'm sure eventually down the road, I probably we will respray this whole car because it's just got, you know, dent, rust, I mean, scratch. <laughs> it's, it's stuff in every single panel. But look, standing five feet away, I mean, this is just an amazing car for what I paid for it. And most importantly, an amazing car for my beautiful girlfriend, who totally deserves it. So, <laughs> all right, so my final thoughts on the booth. This thing is nice. Now, I've used, a, you guys have seen me use a couple different inflatable paint booths, right? Now, the reason why I'm going to say this is one of the best ones I've used, look at these filters, like I said in the beginning of the video. This thing fumed out really quick. It got the fumes out of the booth very quick. And I'm only running a 750 watt ventilation blower. You guys saw my last inflatable paint booth. I was using a two horsepower blower and a suction duct on one of the filter vents. And I mean, it's still, you know, there was a lot of overspray in there. The larger the filter outlet area, uh, for your booth, the easier it's going to breathe. It's just like putting in a putting on a bigger intake on our performance car, right? The bigger the intake, the more air the motor can breathe, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These really massive outlet booth filters is really what sells me on it. And there's two. There's one on this wall, obviously, and one on this wall. So plenty of ventilation. Um, it's got the emergency escape window just in case there's some type of emergency in here. It's a really good size. You can hang lights from the ceiling. This is a quality product. And it really wasn't even a hassle to set up. All we did was kind of sort of unfold it a little bit, hooked up the blower, and just blew it up, and it kind of just did its own thing. We also got some tie downs right up here and down here, so you know you can secure this thing on a windy day. Luckily, I got my body shop here, which is a giant wind block, so I didn't really have to worry about it blowing into the street. Um, but otherwise, yeah, like I said, guys, this is, uh, this is a really decent quality product for the money. If you guys are looking for an inflatable paint booth, whether you're trying to paint your whole car or just like I am, you know, just trying to paint, you know, a couple panels, you know, you're, you're like the weekend warrior, 
you know, you want to paint a couple panels on your wife or your girlfriend's car or your car, um, this is a product to buy. This is a product to buy for that. You know, as you guys can see, it will get you professional results right at home. And granted, like I said, I was using good quality clear coat, really high solids clear coat that does contribute as well. Professional quality spray gun, and I also am a professional as well. So, but once again, this is just another tool in your arsenal that you can use to reduce the amount of dust in your paint and give you a professional quality finish. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description if you guys wanna buy one. Great for your at-home projects, like I said. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Like, subscribe, new videos every week.